the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Capricorn, in the recent past we have deception. And deception, it reads, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now the card deception is paired with release. And on the flip side of release, it reads, let go. When we release our attachment to the outcome, we allow the power of grace to work its magic. So what I'm picking up is for um, a lot of you Capricorns in the recent past, uh, there was someone that you dealt with that was not being true. Or either there were always a lot of lies, um, there was very little truth, it was hard to believe what this person would tell you. They probably uh, came across as being very pretentious, phony, fake, uh, just not keeping it real. So. You probably had some type of attachment to this person. Uh, it could have been a friend, it could have been a, a lover, or it could have been someone that you were really interested in. Uh, but you knew deep down inside you needed to release. You needed to let it go. So you, you release that attachment, or you either release the attachment to the outcome, and you knew that the power of grace would work its magic in your favor. So that's what you did in the recent past, or that's what you should have done. Um, deception can make you crazy if you're clinging on to someone that's just can't keep it real because a lot of times they can make your head spin, you know, telling you this story and telling you that story. Then you don't know what to believe. And they just twist everything around. And then, then they make you feel like, uh, it can make you feel like your head is spinning. If, they, if they're really good at um, being deceptive. If they know, if, they know if, if they're skillful at it, at trickery and just lies and deceit, they can uh, tend to make your head spin. So you knew that you had to release it, or you should have released that, because um, that would have been the only way for grace to work its magic. And that's what we have for you in the recent past, Capricorn. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at the present time. So. We have the Chariot and Ace of Pentacles. Now the Chariot is about a lot of energy. But keep in mind, when you see this card, it's, an, it's not a free-for-all energy. This, um, this is a directed, controlled type of energy, and it has a goal in mind. You will be feeling really clear in the month of March on what your hopes and dreams involve. And what you're willing to do to make them come true. And you'll be feeling really determined. And you'll, you'll have a lot of ambition. This chariot, it's about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart. Give it your best shot. Remember, you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart. In order, to, in order to truly be successful. When you get the chariot card and it talks about love and relationships, it's possible that you could be tempted to go too far too fast. Or someone is pressing you that way. Either way, you're going to have to communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and your preferences. And you're going to have to be honest with yourself and the possibilities. If you are not interested in a relationship with someone who clearly wants one with you, then the kindest thing that you can possibly do is to let them know that you're just not interested. 
because the short term hurt, pain, or anger that this could cause, it's going to benefit everyone in the long run. So the chariot is paired with Ace of Pentacles. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a really good card to get in a reading. Um, you're going to find that you're enjoying some type of new beginning. And it's going to be on several levels. Uh, very positive new beginnings. Uh, you'll be feeling upbeat, optimistic, and really hopeful about the future when March comes. Now, things, they'll be going really well for you. Uh, you could be also starting something new. Or trying to start something new in March. Uh, this could be in the area of work or personally. But either way, it's going to be a really good thing for you. Uh, when you get the Ace of Pentacles and it talks about love and relationships, if you're currently committed, uh, your relationship, it could rise to new and better heights. The two of you will reconnect. And if there's some single Capricorns out there listening and you're looking for love or a relationship, this is very positive. Uh, you just need to get out and meet people. Uh, something new. When you get this Ace of Pentacles, there's something new. A new relationship could start that's very promising in terms of love. But you have to be prepared for it and think positive. So, for the present time, Chariot and Ace of Pentacles. Now... Something uh, new, some type of new beginning, it could happen so fast. It, it could come in really fast. But if you're not prepared for it, you could miss it. A new positive beginning, a new positive relationship, something new in the month of March. You have to catch it, though. You could, you could easily miss it. You know, so just be on the lookout because the cherry is, is fast. Okay, and um, it's, it's a good fast because, like I said, it's directed, it's control, and it has a goal, it has a plan. So whatever is coming in this new person or this new beginning, uh, it comes with a plan. It's not just some carefree um careless or reckless type of energy that's coming in. It's got a plan. It's all mapped out. Um, it's probably something that's supposed to happen. It's it's in the it's in the cards, okay? It's it's supposed to be this way. But like I said, it's gonna come in so fast in the month of March or around that time, you could miss it. Okay, so make sure that you keep your eyes open because something good, a new beginning, a new person, a new love is coming in. Okay, it is on its way with this chariot. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as temperance and the tower. Now temperance is about things going pretty well. Uh, you could need to look at some deep personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, you need to find out how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. Temperance, when it talks about love and relationships, um, it's about... Knowing that before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you have to have peace within yourself. Look at what you feel guilty about. Past mistakes that you've made. Forgive yourself for them. Let it go. Because it's going to be the only way you can truly make progress. And the person you're dealing with, this is how they view you. They view you with some deep personal issues. It could be with this connection. And they think you need to find balance. 
and they could be standing in this way in the way of this connection. Now it's also with a tower card. Now the tower card when it talks about love and relationships, it's an indicator that a relationship is about to end or someone's about to walk away. And if you're in a relationship that you absolutely positively do not want to see come to an end, this is a time for damage control when you get the tower card. And for clear communications, a lot of talk, discussions. You're going to have to find out where your partner's head is. Find out how they're doing. Don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. And this is also how they see you. The temperance and the tower, like I said, they see you as needing to find balance. Something could have happened in this connection, maybe a while ago, or maybe recently, or maybe they just see you have some issues, some deep, maybe deep personal issues, and they see it standing in the way of this connection, and it's not allowing it to make progress. And because it's with the Tower card, they also see you as wanting to walk away or thinking about walking away. Uh, maybe you were enlightened by something that happened in this connection, something that threw you off balance. And that's how they see you. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them, the person you're dealing with. You see them as the Empress and the Hermit. Now, the Empress, she's the, the type that doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, that does not mean that she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. The Empress can signify coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. We all know that there are many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them, but with the Empress, you'll be able to encompass any or all of them. It's a very powerful, very powerful card in the tarot. When it talks about deep love, the Empress, it's a potent time for love. You could find men and women alike. They're suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms of friendship and romance. And you'll, you won't be careful with the use of this power. You have to be. Don't underestimate its potency. If you are single and you're looking, then this is a time when true love, I'm saying true love, not just love, but true love could very well come your way. In fact, if you are single and not looking, then true love could seek you out anyway in the month of March as the Empress. Committed relationships, they'll often become sweeter, deeper, and truer under the influence of this Empress. And this is how you sing your person. You're viewing them as a deep love. Um, you view them as abundance in a lot of ways. Um, you view them or maybe this connection as becoming sweeter, deeper, more true. And because it's with this Hermit card, um, the Hermit card is about needing some time alone. Even, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house to clear your head. It's also a card about maybe trying to do the hard thing, trying really hard to do the, the right thing. Uh, even, yeah, it's about, like I said, trying very hard to do the right thing, 
But you have to make sure when you get this memory card that you're doing the right thing, which includes doing the right thing for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So it's about trying to get rid of some baggage. Um, also, when you get the hermit card, it could be a spiritual card. Um, relationships are probably not a priority for you right now when you get the hermit card. So, once again, you see them as this empress and the hermit. You see them as needing to free themselves of some baggage. This connection or something that happened could have um, weighed them down or felt like they were carrying some type of burden. And you see them as wanting to probably spend some time alone to clear their head. And you know that there is a deep love there. And uh, you see them, like I said, wanting this connection to to become better or deeper. But their intuition is telling them that they need to free their mind from something that happened. Like I said, it could be because of something that happened in the connection or the relationship. And they... You see them needing to do this in order to keep this connection alive. So, once again, that's how you see them. Let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to the King of Swords and the Moon card. Now, the King of Swords, it's about a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. Now with this King of Swords, if we're not talking about an actual person, it could be you thinking, um, thinking only about how things affect you personally. Being really selfish. Self-centered. Particularly if this card is not talking about, like I said, a man or a person in your life. You're going to have to consider the feelings of others before you act. Um, this King of Swords, it's about a really forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations, but do not overextend your reach. When the King of Swords talks about love and relationships, it's still about a strong, forceful, opinionated man that's a part of your life. Or this could be you. Now, if this man is your, your lover, your husband, your person, it means that you probably have to accept him as he is, whether you're male or female. You'll best deal with this type of person or this type of energy by drawing on the feminine aspects of your nature. But don't put up with being mistreated. This man, he can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds. So this is one of the reasons why it's all happening. There's someone that uh, can be mistreatful, or someone is um, possibly being mistreated in this connection. There's someone that uses their head over their heart and can probably have a forceful energy at times. Now, it's paired with this moon card, and the moon card, it's about a highly emotional time in a love relationship. Things can become quickly overheated or uncomfortable. Take a break if that's what you two need to do. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly. If you're going to fight at all, you need to pick your battles. And be sure that you treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in too much of a hurry to end or begin a relationship. 
this is probably not the best time of either course of action. So this moon card is why it's all happening also. Um, there could be some trust issues. The moon card is about deception. Um, yeah, we talked about that in the beginning, uh, in the recent past. There was deception, remember? So it's pretty strong in this reading. It's showing up in the why it's all happening also. Um, someone's wearing a mask. Not really saying how they truly feel. Not keeping it real. And then we've got this King of Swords here for why it's all happening. Someone likes to overstep their bounds. They only think about how they feel and not how you feel. So it causes some tower moments as we talked about that. And it also causes uh, someone to feel like they want to walk away and be alone a lot of times. Yeah. So this deception is pretty big and like I said it's pretty it's in the reading twice so that's more than uh, um, we would want to see in a reading. So the Moon card and King of Swords is why it's happening. Like I said um, King of Swords is a narcissistic type of person. So that that energy could be in in this connection and because the moon card is there um, yeah someone could just not be truthful and it causes a lot of fights and things get overheated and uncomfortable um, yeah, so that's what we have for why it's all happening. And someone looks like they want to walk away every now and then and become the hermit because they just can't take it. And it looks like, like I said, it caused a tower moment. And it's probably due to this deception or the person that just can't say how they really feel. So things come crashing down. 